Kidney Cancer Care in uh, 2015 really has boiled down to trying to calibrate and balance risk. And a lot of what this uh, AUA offers um, its attendees is really an insight into how to better, uh, better understand risk and how to better balance it. So first, when we see a patient with their renal masses, really we try to understand uh, whether to treat them or not. And there are several abstracts here uh, hitting on active surveillance, um, really how to best calibrate active surveillance, what are the risks of active surveillance, and really when, when, and, not, and when not to treat, uh, 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 treat individuals with uh, small renal masses. Um, with that assessment of risk, we really, what the urologic community is really trying to understand better is um, how do we um, understand and predict uh, tumor pathology before we actually resect that tumor. Um, and this will obviously help us uh, to decide whether we need to resect the tumor at all. And basically there are two parallel efforts. One effort is in um, better use, utilization of renal biopsy, and there are several abstracts on, uh, on that at this AUA. And then the separate effort is in really better, uh, is understanding how to better uh, harness uh, preoperative imaging in order to predict final pathology. And there's a really interesting uh, abstract from Buffalo here where they um, <coughs> take a look at cystic renal masses. And uh, in general, these cystic renal masses are considered indolent, but they're certainly um, sort of wolves in sheep's clothing, uh, clothing amongst those masses. And those are, the, those, are those uh, type two papillary cystic um, type two uh, renal cell carcinomas. And uh, this abstract uh, looks extremely interesting where these investigators have actually quantitated um, solid components of these masses in order to, tr and, and degree of enhancement, in order to try to uh, better predict um, whether this aggressive pathology is harbored within these cystic renal masses.